안녕하세요 데니얼입니다 오일앤 게스 컴퍼니에서 일하던 2008년 오일 피크를 경험하면서 디젤을 사용하는 섬에서는 이미 그리드 페러티가 가능함을 보았습니다 엔지니어로서 비싸고 탄소 배출이 많은 디젤을 리뉴어블로 대체하는 데에 관심을 갖고 검토하게 되었습니다 그 결과 오션 웨이브 에너지에 대한 확신과 온쇼어와 니어쇼어의 장점을 함께 갖춘 인웨이브 시스템의 아이디어를 갖게 되었습니다 2012년 이 아이디어를 시현시키기 위한 본격적인 여정에 올랐고 많은 험한 파도를 넘어 드디어 상용화를 눈앞에 두게 되었습니다 More than 730 million people in the world live on islands Most are dependent on fossil fuel imports from the mainland To this day, immense technical and economic challenges stand in the way of their energy independence We often hear that islands are isolated, but they are surrounded by one of Earth's greatest resources, the ocean. In the ocean, ever-flowing waves contain about 3 terawatts of energy. Wave energy is efficient, reliable, dense, predictable. So why isn't it commercialized yet? Mostly because offshore wave energy systems are too costly. In order to be competitive with other renewables, they require a cumulative installed capacity of 1 gigawatt. But the climate emergency cannot wait, and islands have their own economic limitations. That's why Ingen developed the InWave, an onshore type wave energy converter. Onshore means that electricity is generated on land, away from extreme conditions in the high seas. So the system does not include a multi-million dollar subsea cable. Instead, wave power is collected by floating devices located close to shore. This energy is then mechanically transmitted to land through ropes. Thanks to this design, in-wave power plants need lower capital and O&M expenditures, greatly facilitating market entry. The in-wave solution is a flexible, module-based system. Single modules range from 25 to 500 kilowatts to adapt to local demand and site conditions. Even at this small scale, in-wave plants are economically viable. And these modules can be multiplied into multi-megawatt installations. So, the in-wave is actually suitable for small islands and coastal cities alike. That's a giant step toward SDG goal number seven, access to affordable and clean energy. As for climate impact, a 1 megawatt in-wave plant can save up to 33,000 tons of CO2 in its 20-year lifetime. As a wave energy technology developer, Ingen is promoting investment in innovative infrastructure for sustainable development. The economic value of being a first mover in our industry is estimated at 6.4 billion US dollars. In order to reach these objectives, Ingen has gathered a global team of highly skilled engineering and business professionals, registered 47 patents, and achieved technology readiness level 7. We are also developing multi-sectoral partnerships in more than 10 countries across five continents. We provide our WEC technology to independent power producers. We also do project development and offer feasibility study services as well as O&M parts and services for installed facilities. Ingen was created in 2011 in South Korea. With the construction of our demonstration plan on Jeju Island in December 2015, we reached TRL-7 with a full-scale prototype tested at sea. We are working on our first commercial wave power plant to be deployed in Vietnam at the end of 2022. We also plan on opening a French subsidiary at the end of 2021. Our goal is to have an R&D center in Europe and to create synergies with the blue economy by developing a WEC integrated to offshore platforms. Together, we can respectfully harness nature's blue energy to power the world.